All right, guys, so you talked about the idea of reflecting over horizontal and vertical lines. And today, uh, this exercise is dealing with reflecting over um, diagonal lines. So let's look at diagonal lines. Um, there's two types that we could have. Y equals X, which is just um, like where each Y and X are exactly the same value, like that. Y equals X, that means all the X values and the Y values are exactly the same. When I look at y equals negative x, um, the y's are opposite of the x's. So it's going to be like this. Okay? So when we look at this, um, I want to try to graph this. And what I did is I did change this to negative x. Let's do that. And what we're going to do first is just graph y equals negative x. So when I look at, um, like, 0 is going to be 0, okay? Now, if x is 1, y is going to be negative 1. If x is 2, y is going to be negative 2. If x is 3, y is going to be negative 3. So this is what your line is going to look like. So that's what your line of reflection is going to look like. And what I'm going to do is to reflect it, I'm going to count the number of diagonal squares I am away from my line of reflection. So if I'm looking at point E, I am one and a half away. So I'm going to go a half and one. Okay, to get E. Now if I look at F, I'm one, two, three away. So I'm going to go one, two, three to get X. And then um, W is one, two, three, four and a half. Half. They get W. And I get my image to look like this. So all I'm doing, guys, is first graphing the line of reflection. And then I'm just counting the number of diagonals I am away. So if I look here, I'm one and a half away. So I'm going to go half and one. Okay? I'm going one, two, three. One. To get that point, and then I'm going one, two, three, four, and a half, a half, one, two, three, four, to get that point. Okay, you guys try the next ones, and if you have questions, just